Hello, my name is Sabrina. I am a performance engineer. It's my daily work to improve websites' performance. And one of the main problems that I see that people worry about their websites' performance too much. Seriously, too much. This happens because they don't really understand when there is a problem and when there is no problem. It makes them go run PageSpeed Insights tests compulsively, read those articles like 10 things to improve your website performance, install 5 performance optimization plugins on their websites all at once, and worry about their website performance much more than they should. The goal of this plugin is to give you the answer to the question, is there a problem with this website performance? And update the answer to this question every single day for free. It runs Core Web Vitals tests both for the entire website and for specific URLs, both for desktop and mobile, automatically, every day, and gives you a simple report. From there you will know if you need to take any actions in terms of website performance, or it's okay and you can focus on other important things that you have to do. After you activate this plugin, you will be redirected to the tests page and home page will be added automatically and the test for the home page will start automatically and will run while you're watching this video. In current version of the plugin, there is no need of API key. Tests take some time, but they are free and there is no API key needed and you can use it right away. Now, we have your home page added and there is one thing you need to know. One of the most common mistakes that I see a lot that people are testing their home page and they kind of forget about other pages of their website. Your website is so much more than your home page. In fact, usually it's one of the least visited pages of your website. User experience happens across the entire website, not just on the home page. This is how both users and Google perceive your website. Google evaluates your website performance based on all visits of all users on your website. So, let's add other URLs to be monitored. Here you can add other URLs of your website to monitoring. Posts, pages, custom post types, WooCommerce products, terms, taxonomies, basically whatever you need to add. You can start typing in the name of the post or product or whatever, or you can just paste the URL in the field. Now, how many pages to add? I would recommend to add pages that have different layout. There is no much sense to add 200 blog posts if they all use the same template, but it would be a good idea to add different representatives from different groups. Blog post, category page, uh, WooCommerce product, landing page, by the way, landing pages usually have different layouts, so if you have landing pages with different layouts, add a few of them. You can only add pages of the current website, of course. Now, when the tests are running, you can stay on this page or you can leave it. The tests will continue. If you leave, come back later to see the results. How to understand the results? Core Web Vitals for Origin. Here you have LCP, Largest Contentful Paint, CLS, Cumulative Layout Shift, and INP interaction to the next paint, which replaced FAD that uh, was there before. These are three metrics Google use to make the assessment of your website performance. LCP, how fast your website is loaded. CLS, how stable the picture is. When nothing is jumping, everything is stable, and when you click at the element, you hit the element you intended to hit. And INP, how interactive the website is. The combination of these three metrics gives you the Core Web Vitals assessment. Tests are run automatically both for mobile and desktop. Results are color-coded to indicate if they are good, average or poor. For Core Web Vitals assessment, mind that if one of the metrics is not passing Core Web Vitals assessment, for example, you have fast for LCP and CLS, but average for INP, then your Core Web Vitals assessment in general won't be passing. It would be marked as average in general. Now, individual tests Core Web Vitals per 
page. This table displays Core Web Vitals for the specific URLs that you have added. It has the same columns, URL that you have added, uh, LCP, CLS and INP, both for mobile and for desktop for each as well. Then last updated, when the test was updated, and also you have a link that you can click and go to PageSpeed Insights graphic interface. Where does this data come from and how it is different from what you see in PageSpeed Insights or Google Search Console report? In PageSpeed Insights report, you have this section Core Web Vitals, where the data is exactly the same as you have in SpeedGuard and in Google Search Console, because they use the same source, Chrome User Experience Report. It collects data about real users' experience across the entire internet on every single website. The numbers in this section of Core Web Vitals in PageSpeed Insights report and SpeedGuard and Google Search Console can slightly vary based on the time when the latest data was pulled. But these fluctuations are insignificant and they are adjusted over the time. The source of this data is the same. This Core Web Vitals section in PageSpeed Insights report is very simplified, just to give you an idea. Also, this section only uses two states – passed or failed, while the actual Chrome User Experience report uses three states – fast, average, poor. And if you go to Google Search Console to get more detailed data, that's what you will see there. SpeedGuard uses the same approach, so you have three states, three colors – red, yellow and green – for poor, average and fast. Whenever you see that your website experiences issues with Core Web Vitals, you should go to Google Search Console to investigate it further. That's what a performance engineer, if you hire one, would do for you the first thing. Difference between Core Web Vitals and Page Speed Insights. You notice that I only talked about Core Web Vitals till now. And if you know a little bit about performance, you understand why. Core Web Vitals is where you have real user data that comes from Chrome User Experience Report. Real user experience is the only thing you should care about. This is the only thing your users care about. This is the only thing Google cares about. But there are cases when Core Web Vitals are not available. Maybe your website is new, maybe it's not new, but it doesn't have enough traffic to make the assessment. And in that case, you have to emulate user experience on your website and pretend to be a user to understand what kind of experience they might be having on your website. This is called laboratory tests, lab tests. There is an emulated user with an emulated device from emulated location that uses emulated internet connection and pretends to visit your website. And the data about this visit is collected. PageSpeed Insights is one of such lab tests. There is no point at all to pay any attention to PageSpeed Insights if you have Core Web Vitals real user data for your website available for you. But if you don't, PageSpeed Insights is obviously better than nothing. By default, SpeedGuard has Core Web Vitals set in the settings. Switch to PageSpeed Insights only in case Core Web Vitals is not available for your website. You will see the notice if it happens. Ok, what about other tools? GT Matrix, WebPageTest, Folia and so on and so forth. Again, if you have data about re real user experience on your website from Chrome User Report, you should always use that use Core Web Vitals. If you don't, you can em emulate visits and run lab tests. The main point here is to use the same tool with the same settings consistently for monitoring. For debugging, you can use different, but for monitoring, it should be the same tool that runs tests under the same conditions. For debugging purposes, I often use web page test catch point now. Uh, in my work. But for monitoring, it should be the same tool under the same conditions all the time. So, if you have Core Web Vitals data available, you are all good. Use that data for monitoring. It is set by default in SpeedGuard settings. What if there is no Core Web Vitals data available? There are three possible cases. One, if you have Core Web Vitals for origin only, 
Core Vitals assessment has been done by Google for your entire website, but not for specific pages. In these cases, you will see the same results for all pages and for origin as well. And if you go to PageSpeed Insights, you will see that there is no data available for the specific URL. The data is available only for origin. In this case, it's okay to leave only one page of your website and keep track on Core Web Vitals for your entire website. Or you can switch to PSI and monitor results for specific URLs. I would probably recommend to say with Core Web Vitals option, as this is, yes, limited data, but it's real user data. If there is no Core Web Vitals at all, for both for origin and for specific URLs, you can switch to PageSpeed Insights in settings. And if there are no PageSpeed Insights tests available, it means that you are trying this plugin on localhost or staging. This won't work. It should be live website accessible for Google to make requests to it. Install it in production. So the main question, when to worry about your website performance? And first thing, very important, there is no situation when you should worry about your website performance. Life is so short and can end any minute. You don't have time to worry about performance. But to understand whether you need to take any actions in this area or not, here is how to approach it. First, if Core Web Vitals are not passing, are not green, for either mobile or desktop for one of the metrics, go to Google Search Console to investigate it further, to get details about what exactly is happening there. This is the good source of information that you should be using. If Core Web Vitals for origin is passing, both on mobile and desktop for all metrics, but individual URLs are not passing, and those URLs receive a lot of traffic or they are very important in your funnel, this is a good time to go and prevent issues in the future. And if your Core Web Vitals is passing for origin and most of your URLs are passing Core Web Vitals assessment as well, you don't need to do anything. Everything is good. You have already done good work before and your website is doing well. How to update test results. You can use checkboxes and update few URLs at once or all URLs at once and do this manually, but these tests are updated every day automatically by cron. So basically you don't need to do anything. Every day you should get fresh data. Just come back and check this page regularly to have the updated information. You also have dashboard widget to display data for origin, the most important data for your website. Or subscribe to premium version of this plugin and receive email notifications when your website needs your attention. You can choose to receive email notifications every time the tests are done with current state or only in case Core Web Vitals for origin for the entire website is not passing or in case any URL is not passing the assessment. There are plans for multiple websites available as well for 5, 20, 50 websites if you want to monitor your clients' websites. After you use this plugin for a while, tag me on Twitter and let me know how you use this plugin. I'd like to make it more convenient and it's only possible with input from real users, from you. If you would like to leave a review, you can do so at wordpress.org repo. There is also a support forum there for questions, feedback, any suggestions. I wish you good luck in your life. For website performance, it's not about luck. It's about the knowledge and about understanding the data. Watch my another video to learn how to understand website performance better. Cheers!